All right. Good to see everybody. Happy Wednesday. Big waves to you. Go ahead and let us know where you're tuning in from in chats and the comments. Good to see everybody around. We were just saying earlier, we got people walking. We got people exercising. We got people that are on their way to work. I'm in my mobile office uh, where I stay most of my time, looks like. So, but wherever you're at, we're super happy to have you a part of the coach's corner. And uh, this is something we've done for, uh, goodness, three years, I guess, over. Crazy, taking a word of the day. And our word for today, all of our letters, I mean, our letters start with I this week. And so the word for today is insecurity, insecurity. And when I saw this word given to us by someone, I said, we got to look at this because you know what? I have my own insecurities. So I was excited about thinking about the word insecurity. How about you? I mean, you don't have to say, but, but insecurity, uncertainty anxiety about oneself, lack of confidence. You know, when you're uncertain, that brings about what? Lack of confidence. Have you ever been out on the road driving and you were uncertain about the directions you were headed, even though you plugged them in the mouth? You know, we're all kind of we plug it in and we go now, you know, I remember the days when we'd pull out the mouth, you know, the Atlas and we'd have to go by that. But I have plugged in the maps and felt uncertain about where I was headed. And it brought about, it brought about lack of confidence. I was just, I didn't have confidence in, in where I knew I was going and you got to be there by a certain time. And you're like, Hmm. I don't like the way this feels. And there's just an uncertainty around it. It doesn't feel good. And I thought about that. I mean, you feel less protected when that happens. You feel like there's a, just kind of this force field has been broken. And then I went and like, think about this. Think about your own life. Maybe the insecurity is an emotional insecurity, an attachment insecurity a physical insecurity. I've had moments in my life where I just have not felt good in my own skin, right? It's not something you talk about, but you just don't feel good in your own body, in your skin, the way the clothes fit, all that. Financial insecurity. I know I've been there. I've been there on moments where I've taken a step up, financial insecurity of, of taking a step down. Right. And it brings about all this lack of confidence and you feel like you're stuck. And how do I get out of it? And even professional insecurity, like in my profession, am I growing like Arlene's growing? Am I growing like Sandy's growing? Am I growing like Sue's growing? And I start comparing myself to other people in my profession. So I came across this quote. And I think it's meant for all of us this morning, but hopefully it'll mean something to you like it does to me. Stop allowing, Brent, your own insecurities to color the way you interpret someone else's intention. Think about that. Because I got insecurities, I start drawing up narratives to what other people around me, why they're doing the things they're doing. Right? Like, here's my point. Let's say it's professional. Somebody's thriving. And I look and I go, I'm not thriving like they are. And let's say that person is extending help. I might be like, that person's reaching out to me to brag about what they're doing. Right? I'm drawing these narratives up in my head. And I have 100% done that before. When I was a coach, Somebody's eight and oh, and I'm one and one and seven. And I'm like, I don't even want to answer their phone when they call. All they're doing is calling to brag about their great season they're having. And I'm over here feeling sorry for myself when really they were calling to just check on me. They were calling to be a support. 
but I was telling myself because of my own insecurities, I was feeding myself this story. So what's the signs? If you know what the signs are, you know where to take the different road, right? Comparing yourself to others. You're feeling, you're feeling jealous. Now, I know none of you have ever felt that way, but I have. Okay. Here's another sign of feeling insecure. You start isolating yourself. You start withdrawing. You start not wanting to look at that Facebook group of other people succeeding. You stop, you stop getting on a call because you're tired of seeing all this stuff that you're not doing. Or maybe it, you're not feeling good in your own skin and you're tired of hearing someone else talk about their wins. All of that, you start isolating, start withdrawing. Negative talk. Negative talk. That's another sign of feeling insecure. Doubting yourself or questioning your self-worth. Not trusting others. I'm feeling insecure, so I'm going to close myself off. I'm not letting anybody else in. And so I look at all these, and I can identify with every single one of them, every single one of them. And I'm going, but what's the power of that? If I know what insecurity looks like and sounds like and acts like, then hopefully I can take what Andrea is going to share and I can go do something about it. I recognize there's some insecurity. And now what can I do to work on that insecurity to move in a different direction? Andrea? Well, great lesson, Coach. Good reminders there. Very relatable. And I'm going to admit right now that I'm feeling a little insecure in my ability to stay focused because... I have a baby. I've only, the first time I've ever seen a baby squirrel was within the last month. And I currently have a baby, a baby squirrel right outside my window. And it might be the cutest thing in the whole world. So I'm going to work on focusing. But if you see me with a big grin, that's what I'm staring at. So anyway, the quote that I found that I loved was life is a dangerous thing. Insecurity is the price of living. And I will put that name in the chat. I'm not going to try to say it. But isn't that the truth? Like if we're truly living, if we're truly the man in the arena, if we're truly trying to do big things, then we are going to have to fight through, overcome some insecurity because we don't always know everything, darn it. Like we're not always the smartest person in the room. Sometimes we're never the smartest person in the room. And so how do we let go of those insecurities so we can go on living this life and thriving through it? So first of all, we need to affirm, oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna die. This is so cute. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm gonna have to close my curtains. Okay, first of all, affirm your value. So take inventory of everything that you're doing right. So many times, we go through life and we just see the flaws, right? I'm sitting here and I can feel the belly roll, right? Or I look at my social media and think, oh man, you know, my vacation was so much more boring than their vacation or my family, we never match in our pictures or whatever it may be, right? So we look at all of the ways that we're less than, but if we can just take a quick inventory of everything that we're doing right, because there are so many things in our day that we're not seeing, but we were absolutely winning in many, many areas. Number two is we've got to prioritize our own needs. So if we're always, and I think, you know, one of the things about this industry that many of us are in, it attracts, I believe, the people that really love other people. It attracts the people that want to help everyone else. And sometimes through that, we can stop taking care of ourselves, and that lowers how we see ourselves. It makes ourselves not value ourselves and feel more insecure. So take a moment to prioritize you and whatever that looks like. Like maybe for Marlene, that means that she needs to make sure that she takes 15 minutes every day to sit in a quiet room with a book, right? Maybe for Brent, that means that every single day he's got to go do crazy things in the gym. I don't know what he does in there, but like go lift heavy things. Maybe for me, that means I've got to look at this dang squirrel. But whatever it is, 
to prioritize the needs that you have and value yourself because that's going to help you feel more secure. Number three is embrace the awkward. So I once upon a time had an email account or a social media, something that my name was Rockward <laughs> and it was Rock the Awkward. We all do awkward, silly, goofy things. We mispronounce words. We, you know, trip in public. Like we all do things that are awkward that could make us feel less than, more insecure. But if we just embrace that and realize, you know what? Every single person on here does something awkward sometimes. We're all human and we have all the human bodily needs and, you know, weaknesses. So we just rock the awkward. We can feel more secure. Number four is challenge your thoughts. So coach talked about it. When we're feeling insecure, we can have all this negative self-talk running around in here. Challenge them. Challenge those thoughts and say, you know what? Anna, you know, I'm hearing you, but is that really true? Because I think X, Y, and Z proves that that's wrong. So maybe we can let that go. So one of the ways we can do that is we can write down, if we have some kind of recurring, reoccurring negative self-talk happening, write it down. So you can not to give it power, but so you can step back and look at it and say, I don't think this is true of me. There might've been moments where it was, there might've been times when I lived in that way, but in this moment, I don't choose that anymore. Um, and then, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I lost my, lost my spot. Okay. All right. Forgive yourself. Understand that there were some isolated in instances and then move on. Number five is to keep good company. So surround yourself with the beautiful people that this world is full of. People that lift you up. People that aren't pointing out your insecurities. You know, and if they are, if there are people that you love, but they're really great at pointing out the flaws in you, well, you could try having a little boundary conversation to say, you know, I love you. I love spending time with you. But when you comment on the size of my thighs, it makes me feel very uncomfortable. So if you're going to do that again, I'm going to need to spend less time with you. So have some boundary conversations and surround yourself with the people that say, dang, you look great. I'm so proud of you. I'm, you know, you're doing beautiful things. Number six is step away from those negatives. So sometimes we have to, we have to close off those relationships as needed. And then number seven is reflect on the good. And every time I hear this, I think of Tammy Maltby and her win book. So, you know, take a moment to think about the compliments that you get. Because I bet if every single person on here has gotten some kind of compliment in the last month, where somebody said, you know, it could be a, a tiny little thing of, man, you keep your truck clean or wow, you're well-spoken or I don't know. You couldn't say either of those things to me, but whatever it may be, think of those compliments and write them down because we're going to forget them, right? So write down those compliments. Um, take a few minutes to just write down three things every single day that you appreciate about yourself. You know, that gratitude journal, all of that is going to help you reflect on the good and feel more secure. I got to go play with this squirrel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You stopped quick, though. You were a bro. I couldn't unmute. Sorry. 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 Great lesson. Yeah, this, <laughs> this insecurity is something that definitely was great for me because it's something that I battle. So um, and, and I think if we were all honest, we all have different areas of our life that there's some insecurity in. And so. Uh, it's good to look at that word. So thank you for that. Guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Have an amazing hump day Wednesday. And uh, we'll see you back tomorrow. Love you love guys. Love you guys. See you back God tomorrow. Bless you. Thank you. It's a great message. Thank uh, you.